windy out here. Yeah. A little bit. It can get breezy here. It doesn't do much good around here if it's hot, if it's humid. Yeah, now, if I it's think dry it's, it's like it is now, yes. it, uh, it does quite a bit. That's the thing, it, it was humid well. at the time. But in California, when I came out in 85, wasn't that humid. But after that, it got humid. You live in California? I've, yeah, I've been living in Orange County. Oh, my parents live in Orange County. My wife was born in Orange County. the back for checking the crew from the missile in the case of a mishap. We got to this point, they'd find the fourth floor box right over here on the wall. The crew would pick it up and say, we're at Blast Door 6. There's a three push button panel, or three panel button here with uh, three buttons on it. The crew has one just like it inside. They would press that button at the same time they press this one. Four pins would hydraulically retract and a crew member would swing the door open. Where you're standing is built to good industrial standards, but it likely would not survive in the event of a nearby nuclear detonation. From here on is hard. The walls are a minimum of four feet thick. When they poured the concrete, they set up a plant topside, poured continuously, no cracks, no seams, no joints. Outer walls a quarter inch thick steel plate. The door closes steel, meets steel, and there's a neoprene seal all the way around. Nothing can get in, no electromagnetic pulse, no radiation, no gas. Okay, stay right here. Everybody else kind of get over there. This way to demonstrate power. Grab that handle and load. And that slack in the cabling is on purpose for just that slack. If it bounces, there's slack in the cables and they don't snap. Like the missile systems that are necessary for launch or operation, they've been isolated with shock absorbers or springs. Even the lighting, look at the lighting springs on the standard, the fluorescent, and the emergency lighting. Let's go in the control center. come into the control center capsule portion of the complex. It's built like a bird cage. It's round on top, flat on bottom, three floors inside. Up above us is the crew's quarters, metal kitchen, mug bed. You saw it in the video. Down below is an equipment area, communications, gears, and pumps, and fans, air conditioning, a couple of battery packs about the size of this console. We'll talk about that in a moment. This is level two. This is where the crew worked. This is the heart of the complex. This is where they launched the missile from. As you saw, it, it, when you entered, you saw there's a sign on the end of this console that says no load zone, sack two man policy, which is true everywhere except in the crew's quarters. But on this level, one of the two people had to be either the commander or the deputy commander. Okay, hey, give us a count. Three, two, one. From all the way to right holding. Four, three, two, one. Perfect, you can let go. We have now started a process we cannot stop. You see, launch enable, which means, among other things, that butterfly valve is unlocked. Batteries activated. On board the missile are two batteries that have been dry all the time. They're now being force-fed electrolytes. In 28 seconds, they'll come up to power. They'll provide the missile a source of power it's been getting from the complex. Very small, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, come on in. Let's get everybody in. I'll tell you what you're looking at, and then I'll let you look around a little bit more. 